and senior from Kansas City, Missouri, number 10, Tremaine Chambers. At the other guard, a 6'1 senior from Las Vegas, number 22, Wallace Harris. At one forward, a 6'4 senior from Port Gibson, Mississippi, number 33, Terrence Cameron. At the other forward, a 6'8 junior from Fayette, Mississippi, number 44, Marcus Fleming. And at center, a 6'8 sophomore from Jackson, Mississippi, number 55, Walter Harper. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here is the starting lineup for your Fighting Tigers of LSU, brought to you by Coca-Cola. And one guard, a 6'4 freshman from Slidell, number three, Taurus Bright. At the other guard, a 6'4 junior from New Albany, Indiana, number 43, Lamont Rowland. At one forward, a 6'8 junior from Dallas, Texas, number two, Brian Bashara. At the other forward, a 6'9 sophomore from Shreveport, number four, Schumann Swift. And at center, a 6'11 senior from Atlanta, Georgia, number 52, Jabari Smith. Well, the Tigers are having fun even as they uh, run out of the floor after the starting lineup introduction. So the officials here tonight, Bruce Benedict, Doug Sherman, and Pat Adams are the guys who will be calling the action on the floor. A nice crowd has uh, has uh, gathered here. As a matter of fact, about 30 minutes ago, we were kind of talking about, well, there's not going to be anybody here. And then, boy, all of a sudden, they open the gates. And uh, there's a nice crowd in here, including a fine assemblage of the students behind us. So yeah. it could be rather loud here tonight, and we hope that it is, and we hope that you enjoy the ball game here, LSU and Alcorn State. Alcorn is a team averaging 74.7 points per game. They give up 71.3. They shoot 44.7% from the floor. Their opponents shoot 46.5% from the floor. From three-point territory, they have struggled 31.5%. And from the free throw line, though, they are good, shooting 71.7% from the free throw line. So, Jim, hard to believe two teams tonight shooting over 70% from the free throw line. And in the days of the 90s, you don't see that too often. Oh, no, you sure don't. You certainly hadn't seen it very often for LSU. The opening tip-off brought to you by Bell South Mobility. Free long distance anywhere in Louisiana. LSU to our left, Alcorn State to our right. Stroh Miles Swift will jump it against Harper. And the ball game is underway. Bashara has it for LSU. Alley to Smith. He misses. Smith Bashara on the alley oop to Jabari. He missed the layup, but Swift flushed it back in. It's 2 0 LSU. Chambers in the front court. Gives it away almost at midcourt. It's Harris, guarded closely by Lamont Rowland. Far side pass is Fleming at the LSU bench. Now at the top of the key. This is Harper. Bounces it near side behind the line to Harris. Down low. Turnaround jump shot. It's put up and in. Rattled in and near time. The shot was made by Cameron. We're tied at two, and the ball is loose as LSU prepares to bring it in bounds, and Alcorn State will full court press. Jabari Smith bounces it into Lamont Rowland. He will start it down the floor. Into the front court, LSU going to our left. We're just underway, and we're tied at two. Rowland needs some help. Feeds it away to Spichera, who comes out to get it almost at midcourt. Dribbles towards the top of the key, gets a pick, heads for the lane, stops and has the ball knocked loose on the floor. Loose, and it is chased down by Alcorn. Chambers has it for the Braves. It is knocked loose, and LSU gets it back as Bright steals it away. Consecutive turnovers on both ends of the floor. It's 2-2, a tie ball game. Horace Bryant to the front court, up top to Swift. Drives towards the hole, kicks it out to Lamont Rowland at the free throw line. He wants to shoot, comes down with it, puts it back up, and that's going to be a travel, I believe, or that's going to be called a, a tie ball, not a jump ball anymore. It is a tie ball, and it will go to Alcorn State as Rowland got in some traffic there and couldn't get off the shot. And that will count as a turnover for LSU, their second. Second consecutive down the floor. 2 2, tie score, early goal. Here's Chambers. Into the front court, feeds the way near side at long range. Cameron guarded by Bashara. Puts it on the floor of the dribble. Here is a free throw line going for a slam dunk. It's Fleming who faked it at the free throw line and took it to the hole and all court leads it four to two. Smith having a hard time getting it in bounds. Does to Bright, feeds it back to Jabari Smith, to Lamont Rowland, and into the front court comes the Tigers as Alcorn State is pressing. Rowland rolls it off his leg and it goes out of bounds, but I believe there is a foul away from the ball. Yeah, they're gonna get Fleming on a push and LSU with a break there. And that is the first foul of the ball game. LSU will bring it in bounds under their basket to our left. Snap the ball by Terrence Bright. 
Taking a look, still holding it inbounds to Roland in front of the Alcorn bench, and he lost it out of bounds, but knocked out of bounds, I believe, by Harris, who knocked it out of the hands of Lamont Roland. Alcorn State is quick. They're doing a good job of keeping the ball out of Taurus Bright's hands, and, and that's what they're trying to do, and they're doing a good job of it. Bechera inbounds in front of the Braves bench to Jabari, who comes out to get it. Now back to Taurus Bright, top of the key. Dribbling towards the near side. Aliyup underneath, and he threw it out of bounds. But they're going to call a foul underneath on number 55, Harper, trying to alley-oop to Jabari Smith. Nobody touched it. It went out of bounds, but they pushed Smith, and so Harper gets the foul. All court second. The Tigers will get it in bounds underneath their basket. 18-02, play in the first half. 4-2, All Corn State leads. Bright inbounds to Swift up underneath to Jabari. Off of his hands to Torres Bright. Up top, Bashera for three from the point. Good. He drives. Brian Bashera from the top of the queue. And LSU regains the lead, 5-4. Into the front court, Harris on the dribble, picked up by Lamont Rowland. Now he dribbles way back out, standing almost in the midcourt circle. Gets up the dribble, feeds it to the high post man. He bounces it back out to Chambers. In front of the LSU bench far side, back up top to Harper around the perimeter near side. This is Harris with the basketball, drives to the hole, feeds it up underneath, and an easy slam dunk and a nice assist. Fleming gets the flush and a great assist for Harris. And it's 6-5 all court by one. 17-23 to play in the first half. Taurus Bright got to be real careful with palming the ball, gets it into the front court, and a foul is going to be called on Chambers. It's first and all court stakes third. LSU will bring it in bounds right in front of us. Tigers wearing gold tonight. And Alcorn State wearing purple. Bashara's three-pointer makes him now 10 of 20 of the year from the three-point line, 50%. There's the inbounds to Torres right at long range, guarded closely by Chambers. Reverses the dribble, gets a pick from Jabari, heads for the hole and puts it up off the glass. He missed it. Rebound is pulled down by Fleming of Alcorn State. Down the floor quickly. This is Harris. He unloads. It's off the back iron. No good. Rebound to Torres Bryant. Quickly back the other way to roll it into the front court behind the three point line for three off the mark. Rebound Jabari underneath a whistle and a foul. And it's going to be on Alcorn State's number 55. Harper he picks up his second. And that is the fourth in the early going for Alcorn. And we're going to have a substitution. And this is a very large person coming into the ballgame. This is Chad Slaughter, 6'8 senior from Dallas, Texas. And he's in there over 300. He looks like a big Charles Barkley. 317 pounds officially, and he's in Jabari Smith's face right now, and that's not a very good idea. No, it, it isn't. I mean. Yeah, it looks like he's come in to try to intimidate Jabari, and it won't work. All right, Bright trying to inbounds, and he does in the far corner to Lamont Rowland. Bounces it down low to Jabari. He is triple team. Working hard for the shot. Spins and shoots the fall away. Not a good shot. It's an air ball. Well, what he did was. In the hands of Fleming. It did. Jabari took a very bad shot. Harris into the front court, into the near corner, shot up over Smith, rattles and won't go, rebound pulled out by Taurus Bright, who gets his second consecutive rebound. 6-5, all court stayed in the early going. Bright back to Jabari, fakes the three, now takes it from the top of the key, off of the back iron, no good, rebound, Taurus Bright lost it, out at long range, and it goes out of bounds, off of the hands, I believe, of Harris of all court State. LSU just Tigers will bring it in two for seven from the floor right now. Alcorn is three for five. Well, Alcorn is uh, fighting them pretty good on defense. Bashara trying to work it in bounds, and he does to Bright. And long range. They're keeping the ball away from Stromile Swift. Bright feeds it into the near corner. Bashara fakes the shot, drives inside the lane. Follow-up jumper is up. It will not go. Rebound Jabari Smith. Put back is good by the big oh! pull off the glass. Smith gets his first basket at 7-6 yes! LSU at the 16-minute mark. Chambers into the front court. Near side pass is to Cameron. Cameron puts it on the floor, now feeds it back out at long range to Chambers, standing in midcourt. Guarded by Torres Bryant. Near side pass behind the three point line to Cameron. Holds it up high, feeds it at the top of the key. This is uh, Fleming, driven, driving for the sack, puts it off the glass, and it bounces and goes in. And Fleming bangs it in. He's got six in the early going, and Alcorn State is back out front, eight to seven. Bashara in the front court, up top to Jabari. Fakes the shot, heads for the hole. And he feeds it away, gets it back. Now back out of long range to Bashara. Bashara will hand it to Lamont Rowland, who heads for the hole, and he goes charging into a couple of defenders. Out of control play by Lamont Rowland, and that will be a foul called on Rowland. And we'll have a timeout of the ball game. Rowland commits his first, LSU's first, and there is a timeout. 15-26 to play in the first half. It is Alcorn State 8, LSU 7 on the LSU Sports Network. 
Tiger fans, get ready for some show-stopping holiday hoops. Now you and your entire group can enjoy the excitement of LSU basketball with our new group ticket plan. Order 20 tickets or more for any Tiger basketball game between December the 14th and January 8th, and the cost is only $7 each. That's 30% off the regular price by purchasing the group ticket plan. Get your tickets today at the LSU Athletic Ticket Office or by calling 388-2184. Don't miss this great, fast-paced holiday hoop treat. Hurry and get your tickets today. In today's world of high technology, we want everything faster, smaller, more efficient. Miniaturization is the key. LSU has one of only eight synchrotrons in the country, and our research in microscopic structures is far-reaching. From fighting environmental pollution to helping improve the diagnosis of disease, LSU Center for Advanced Microstructures and Devices. Advancing the technology of miniaturization. 15-26 remaining the first half here in the Maravich Assembly Center. And Alcorn leads LSU with a score of 8 to 7. Let's take an Avita Springs water break at the Avita Man on your team. Better water, better service, better call. LSU just 3 for 9 in the ballgame for the floor, 33%. Alcorn 4 for 6, or 67%. LSU is 1 for 3 from three-point territory. The Tigers out rebounding Alcorn 5 for 2. LSU has three turnovers now in the ball game, and Alcorn has just one. Fleming for Alcorn, who came in averaging 17 points per ball game, off to a great start. He has six points and is three for three from the floor. And Alcorn State has the basketball, and the inbounds is to Chambers, with Wright putting a little token pressure on him in the backcourt. Wibbling from our left to our right, gets it into the front court, hands it away to Harris, who goes to the other side in front of the LSU bench on the pass to Cameron. Cameron guarded by Bashir. LSU stays man to man. Up top, Fleming guarded by Jabari, and the lob underneath to the big fella. He puts it up, it rolls off the front rim, no good. Tip back up, no good. Tipped out, and off the hands of Smith, back to Alcorn. Lob back near side, and uh, this is Harris with the basketball behind the three point line, guarded by Lamont Rowland. Puts the ball on the four, dribbles free throw line, wants to shoot and can't. Back out at long range, Cameron and loads a long tray off the back iron, no good. Rebound fought far, tipped high into the air, fought far. Pulled down by Stromile Swift. To Lamont Rowland, into the front court, far side to Bashera in front of the bench. Down low, he threw it away, and it's knocked out of bounds by who? Who last touched it? I believe uh, LSU did, and it goes to Alcorn State, and the Tigers have turned it over again. And John Brady is not happy. Alcorn State is surprisingly fast, very quick, and they're making LSU have to really, really work hard to try to get the offense underway. 8-7, the Braves lead the Tigers. 14-30 to play in the first half. Harris into the front court. Near side pass, Fleming behind the line. Guarded by Jabari. Tries to penetrate and can't. Comes back out on the dribble. Now gives it away up top to Cameron. Around the perimeter, far side, Harris in front of the LSU bench. Unloads a tray off of the back iron, no good. Rebound to Stromile Swift. He threw it right into the hands of Fleming. Turned it over. Back down low and around to the far side for an 18-foot jump shot that rattles and won't go. Rebound comes out long and right back to Alcorn State again. Tigers can't get a handle on the ball. This is Harris drives. Now it's knocked away and stolen by Lamont Rowland. And he gets it over to Taurus Bryant into the front court. 8-7, Alcorn State leads LSU. 13.50 to go in the first half. Bryant up top to Bashera. Lost it and got it back. Holds it up high. Needs somebody to move, and nobody is. Over far side to Lamont Rowland. Down to Jabari Smith. Back to the ball. Nothing happening. Jabari wants to do something. It can't. Now he drives for the hole. Pump fake. Puts it up and lays it in. Smith took it to the basket. He's got four. LSU regains the lead, 8-9. Into the front court, Chambers for Alcorn State to Cameron behind the line near side, guarded by Bashera as Jermaine Williams prepares to come in for LSU. Pass across the way to Harris in front of the bench. Now low to Fleming with his back to the goal, working on Jabari and a whistle and a foul. And I believe it's going to be called on Lamont Rowland or Jabari. Let's see. Should be Lamont Rowland. Uh, Jabari Smith will come out and Jermaine Williams will go in, and I still have no idea who they called the foul on. Dan Bournet called it the on Swift on Stromile Swift, yeah, number four. That, that's right, and that is his first LSU second. And here's the inbounds. Fleming at the free throw line, working on Bashera. Can't shoot it. Needs some help, and kicks it way back at it, long range to Chambers. Smith is out, and Jermaine Williams is in for LSU. Chambers dribbling inside the midcourt circle. Feeds the way near side. Cameron drives to the free throw line. Fakes Williams. Shot up block by Strohmile into the hands of Williams. Jermaine into the front court to Strohmile. And the underhand layup is no good off the back iron. He had a free shot miss. Fleming, the rebound back the other way. Chambers passes underneath, and it is kicked 
by Beshera, and Alcorn State will get it. Well, Swift should have flushed that ball, and instead he tried to finger roll it, and he banged it off the back iron. Yeah, he left his feet a little bit too early, and it was just a little bit out of control going in for that layup. Here's Chambers inbounds, and he does get it inbounds, and the layup by Fleming is no good, but he's fouled by Beshera going to the basket, and we'll have our first free throws of the night. Well, Jabari Smith couldn't handle Fleming. Now they're going to try to get Brian Beshera on him. He's got six points, and uh, he's played very well. Fleming averaging 17. Here's our first free throws of the night. And he's a good free throw shooter, hitting 77% from the line. And uh, Dupree is going to come in for LSU. Makes a long look and throws up the free throw. He has two and he makes it. We're tied at nine. Ronald Dupree into the ball game. Will replace Bacheras. The Tigers getting a little smaller and maybe a little quicker in the lineup to match the speed that Alcorn State has displayed. They are a, they are the quickest team that, that I've seen LSU play. And the second shot will come for Fleming, who already has seven points in the ballgame. And his shot is up and in. He made them both. He's got nine of his team's ten points. And LSU trying to work it in. Full court pressure for Alcorn State. Here's Torres Bryant hustling it into the front court. Out of control, throws it up off the glass, and it's put back in by Strobile Swift. Now, Torres just had to sling it up there. He was off balance, and Swift put it back in. 11-10 LSU. In the far corner, Fleming drives and wants to shoot and can't. Kicks it back out near side to Cameron. Cameron holds it up high, can't get it down low to Fleming. Back at long range, batted away by Bright. Into the back court, chased down by Harris. And Harris will have to hustle it into the front court with 16 seconds on the shot clock. 12-15 to play in the half. He drives uncontested to the hole, then is cut off and loses the ball, and a foul is going to be called, I believe, on Harris. He went uncontested around and down the baseline. When he got to the basket, though, there stood Strobile Swift. And he took the ball away from him, and Harris fouled him his first, trying to get it back, and it's five on Alcorn State. Tigers inbounds to Swift. Long pass down the floor to Roland. At the basket, he goes up for the shot. Off the glass, no good. Get back out is pulled down by Harris. That's two in a row at the basket the Tigers have missed. Into the front court, Harris feeds it out near side, wide open for a three, is up off the back iron, no good. But he got it back and put it back up again and missed again. Comes out this time to Jermaine Williams. That was Chambers that missed twice. Williams tries to go coast to coast, and he lands it up and in. Nice soft touch by Jermaine Williams, and LSU with its biggest lead, 13 to 10, with 11.43 to play in the first half. Chambers into the front court, gives it away to Harris. And here is a ball knocked away from the high post and by Stromile Swift, but right back out to Chambers. He's got it. Feeds it away far side to Cameron. Cameron needs some help now. Bounces it at long range to Harris. Guarded by a roll with 13 seconds on the shot clock. Far side pass Chambers in front of the LSU bench. Down low, working for a shot. Cameron can't shoot it, needs some help. Six on the shot clock. Gives it away to the big guy, Slaughter. Now back to Slaughter. He unloads a three with one second left, an air ball, and LSU gets it. He didn't touch the basket, and they would have gotten it anyhow. And we have an official timeout with 11.09 to play in the first half. It is LSU 13, Alcorn State 10 on the LSU Sports Network. Remaining in the first half of the Maravich Assembly Center, LSU leading Alcorn State with a score of 13 to 10. Tell America's Lucky 7 plan breaks the five cent barrier for weekend calls. Pay just 4.7 cents per minute in state or out of state and no monthly fee. Tell America 1 877 7 Lucky 7 call today. LSU 6 of 15 from the floor, 40%. 
Alcorn has cooled off. They're now 4 of 14, 429 percent. LSU 1 for 3 from three-point territory. Alcorn 0 for 2. Alcorn 2 for 2 from the charity stripe. LSU has not shot a free throw. LSU out-rebounding. Alcorn 10 to 8. LSU with four turnovers. And Alcorn also with four turnovers in the game. Kyle's Temple is into the game now for LSU as well. And Bashara will take a seat on the bench as well as Brian Bashara and Lamont Rowland. And Jabari Smith is back in. We've got some new players for Alcorn State, too. Brian Adams is in. Here's Taurus Bryant walking into the front court, moving from our right to our left across the top of the key. We'll shoot about a 16-foot jumper, and he nails it. Bottom of the sack for Taurus Bryant. The LSU has its biggest lead, increases it to five. It's 15 to 10. Into the front court, this is Harris. A three-point shot from the point is nailed over Kyle's Temple, who didn't come out to get it. And it is 15 to 13. Harris knocked it down. His first tray. Each team has one. Taurus Bryant into the front court, guarded closely by Chambers. Far side passes to Jermaine Williams in front of the Alcorn bench at long range. He's taking a look. Now he starts his dribble coming towards the near side. Feeds it up top. High post to Jabari Smith. Waves the ball around and throws it near side to Temple into the near corner. Jermaine Williams drives baseline and the corner Bryant for three. Far side. Good. Taurus Bryant knocks down the tray. He's got five straight and LSU needs it by five. 18-13 coming up on the 10-minute mark. Here's Adams again. And this one off the front rim. No good. Or Harris again. In the hands of Jabari Smith. And Taurus Bryant has it into the front court. Drives it all the way. Gives it to Jabari and a foul is going to be called as Smith was driving down the lane and he fell to the floor. He was tripped by number 22, Harris, his second. That is the sixth team foul. He will say no shot involved and LSU will inbound. 9.56 to play in the half, 18 to 13, LSU by five. Now Harris will go out of the ball game and here's Corey Mangum, a 6'2 junior from Jackson, checking in for all court State. They'll run the players in and out of there the entire night. Slap the ball by Bryant. He's taking a look, He's taking a look. He's got a hurry, lobs it at long range out to Jermaine Williams. Well, as she was played eight players now. On top here is Dupree, holds it up high. Heads for the hole, kicks it back out near side. Temple for three, in and out, no good. And pulled down by Brian Adams. Well, that one all the way in and then came back out. Into the front court, pass near side, a corner shot up, no good. Off the rim, pulled down by Jabari Smith. Back the other way quickly, Taurus Bright and the Tigers are running. Bright back out to Temple. Dribbles one time and now dribbles all the way across the floor towards the near side to Smith at the high post. Angles towards the far side, hands it away to Bright, tries the three from the far side, it's no good. And the rebound hits the floor and Alcorn State gets it. Back the other way into the front court, this is Chambers. Feeds it away to Mangum, Mangum across the top of the key. Far side pass to Adams in front of the LSU bench. Backing out at long range, LSU stays man to man. Now Adams gives up the basketball to Chambers who comes and gets it. Dribbles around, goes in the back door, up underneath the basket, lost it, got it back, put it up and in. Chambers underneath the basket rolled it in, and it is 18 to 15, LSU by three, and the inbounds pass is knocked out of bounds by Walter Harper. Bashara is gonna check back in for LSU, and Cameron for Alcorn State. Bashara will replace Jabari Smith, and Fleming will go out for Alcorn. And the Tigers will try to bring it in bounds, and Alcorn State will press. 8.45 to play in the first half, and LSU leading 18 to 15. Very fast pass paced game, but neither team shooting very well. Now Alcorn is uh, 6 of 18 for 33%, LSU 8 of 19 for 42%. The Tigers have missed some easy shots. And here is the attempt at inbounds. Roland tries to get it inbounds to Bright, and it's knocked out of bounds again by Chambers, and the Tigers are just having a difficult time coping with the quickness of Actually, Alcorn they State. did not touch the ball. It's a turnover for oh, LSU. Okay, it was. It was a, we didn't see what happened. It just went out of bounds. And so yeah. that is a turnover. And Alcorn State will get it underneath their basket. And Lamont Rowland is going to check into the ball game. And he will say he will replace College Temple. John Brady right now just find a, trying to find a combination that's going to work for LSU. That was the Tigers' fourth turnover yep. of the ball game. Trying to get some speed in there. Biggest lead has been five, and they seem to continue to have problems with something. The shot, oh, so, well, the, clock, well, the, the game time, clock. Game clock says a minute 25. Now it's back. Right? Yeah. 8.52. All right, as uh, Alcorn tries to bring it in, they do. They get it into the backcourt to Mangum. Near side pass to Adams. Adams feeds it down low up underneath the basket. Here's a shot put up and in. Just too easy Got right there. Yeah, that was way too easy, and it was uh, put in the hole by Harper. Back down the floor quickly. Here is a uh, rolling at long range. It is 18 to 17, LSU by one. 
upright, top of the key, heads for the sack, and he feeds it underneath, loose, chased down by Beshera in the near corner. Bob back to the far side, here it's Bright to Roland for three, and that is way off the mark and pulled down, that's a brick. Pulled down by Cameron of Alcorn State. Back down the floor, here is Chambers. Feeds the way into the corner, back out to Chambers, fakes the three, and another very easy basket by Cameron underneath, and John Brady will call timeout and try it to get his team play a little basketball. 8.08 to play in the first half. Alcorn State with six straight has taken the lead over LSU, 19 to 18 on the LSU Sports Network. It kills only 20 times more kids than you It's three times more deadly than guns. It causes you to live with the disease. Let me safe to say, a child couldn't imagine this thing without it. State Farm wants to make kids safer in cars. So we're the sole sponsor of America's largest child passenger safety study, a five-year program conducted by the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there, helping make kids and cars safer. Ever wonder what your uniforms say about your company? Are they saying something like, boy, our employees sure are uncomfortable, or our CEO must be colorblind? We're Cintas, the uniform people, and it's our job to make sure your uniforms say something good. We use the highest quality fabrics and the most fashionable colors. Call Cintas today at 1-800-CINTAS1 and make sure your company's uniforms are sending the right message. You know, something like, wow, cool uniforms. 8.08 remaining in the first half, and Alcorn leads LSU with a score of 19 to 18. Bell South Mobility offers you great cellular service, including free long distance to anywhere in Louisiana. And you can use your package minutes anywhere in Louisiana on the Bell South Mobility Network. Call 1 800 986 Bell. Certain restrictions apply. LSU right now is 8 of 20 from the floor for 40%. Alcorn also 8 of 20 for 40%. The Tigers 2 of 6 from three-point territory. Alcorn is 1 of 3. As far as free throw shooting, Alcorn 2 of 2. LSU has not attempted a free throw in this ball game, and I know that's something that will bother LSU coach John Brady. And the Tigers are out rebounding Alcorn by just 1, 12 to 11. LSU with 5 turnovers, and Alcorn with 4 thus far in the ball game. And LSU just needs to do the things that they know how to do best, and uh, try to get back into this thing because they've just not played very good on the defensive end of the ball and defensively and I think it's hurting them offensively as well. Full court press for all going stage to share trying to bring it in and he does gives it to Lamont Roland who is back in the game he's double teamed gets it back to Bashera standing way deep in the backcourt now he dribbles it into the front court himself dribbles into a double team and he is uh, has the ball stolen away and then it is thrown out of bounds by number 10 Chambers. I believe that was the call. They're calling a foul. They're calling a foul on Bashera. Call a foul on Bashera, and, and so we now have an official timeout. 7.57 to play on the foul by Bashera. His second of the game. When we come back, Alcorn State will have the basketball. It's 19 to 18. Alcorn leads LSU on the LSU Sports Network. You know that part of you that yells at the TV when LSU is playing? That part that prays at the two-minute warning? That paints your face purple and gold? Why is it you have to leave that part at home and get out for the day? Granted, it might seem a little out of place in the supermarket or the drugstore, maybe even a little stuck, but still you shouldn't turn your back on it. Well, then you don't have to. With Tigers banking only for bank one, checks and cards designed to screen show Tigers, you can do what you can. They'll send a little bit of that part for you anytime you write a check, use your credit card, or the one card. Just call toll free 1 877 Tigers 1. Log on to bank1.com or visit the local bank 1 to sign up. We won't be quite as much fun as being on the base and yelling at the TV. But it's a start. Bank 1, the official bank of the LSU Tigers. Member FDIC. Run something to put in. 7.57 remaining in the first half of what? Not been a very good first half for LSU as Alcorn leads 19 to 18. LSU just committed a personal foul and their sixth turnover of the ball game. And the Tigers right now showing the effects of a 12-day layoff as they need to get back in St. Collis Temple. Jermaine Williams, Brian Beshera, Lamont Rowland, and Forrest Wright, I believe. And check that. Jermaine Swift will be in the ball game. 
for LSU. Coach Brady continues to look for the right combination and give Alcorn credit. They've come in here to play today. Well, they're certainly not intimidated. No, sir. Mangum will bring it in right in front of us. And he works the ball into Chambers. And Alcorn State leading by one on a 6 0 run has the basketball. Chambers into the front court. Near side pass is to a number 23, Brian Adams. One dribble back up top to number 55, Harper. Harper back to Adams, guarded by Bashera. Back out in long range to Chambers with 16 on the shot clock. Near side pass to Adams, back to Chambers. Behind the line, guarded by Collis Temple. Shot clock's down to nine now. Mangum at long range, holding the ball with seven on the shot clock. Dribbling far side, kicks it back out to Cameron. Penetrate, shoots it over Bashera and knocks it down. Cameron with six points in the ball game. And Alcorn State has their biggest lead, three, 21 to 18, and that is an 8-0 run. Here's Lamont Rowland in the backcourt. Full court pressure by Alcorn State, and they've had success at it. Hollis Temple gets it into the front court, drives out of control, gets it to Stromile Swift for the jumper. That's no good. Rebound goes to Bashera. He puts it up and misses it. Gets it back. Powers back up and it's back. And then we'll go to the free throw line. Well, the Tigers just having a heck of a time trying to get the ball in the hole at the basket. Yeah, Bruce Bennett that finally saw enough and uh, have a mugging and blew the whistle. And Brian Bashera will attempt LSU's first two free throws of the evening. LSU shooting 73.5% from the free throw line. Bashera, 75% shooter. First foul of the ball game on Cameron. Bashera, three points in the game. LSU hasn't scored since the 10 and 10 mark when Torres Bright hit a three pointer. And this is now an 8 0 run. Yeah. And LSU definitely needs to break right here. Now Bashera will shoot two. And the first one is no good. It rains, of course. Yeah, it does. This team is obviously showing the rust and what can happen to you when you don't play the game for 12 days. And they need to wake up and get into this thing because if not, they could be in deep, deep trouble. Second free throw to come for Brian Bashera. He got that one. That breaks a long dry spell for LSU. Now the Tigers will press. There's the inbounds to Mangum. He's double teamed in the backcourt. Needs some help. Needs some help. Bounces it out. And a loose ball is chased down by Temple. The Tigers still in the way. Collis Temple. Jermaine Williams, short jumper off the glass is good. Just put it up to order. The LSU score him off the steal, and we're tied at 21. Mangum into the front court to Cameron. Stops, pulls up, shoots a jumper, rattles and won't go. Rebound to Jermaine Williams. Williams will dribble it himself into the front court as Taurus Bryant prepares to come back in. Temple at long range. Ali Oop down to Stromile Swift at the basket, and a goal to his ball. It was put up and slapped off the glass. Give the basket to Swift. He's got six in LSU. Leads it down 23 to 21, and the Tigers are on a 5-0 run. And if LSU can get the ball to Stromile like that, it's hard to stop him when he gets the basketball in his hand. Jabari comes back in, and the, the big guy, Slaughter, comes in to uh, muscle up to him, and Taurus Bright is back in at the point for LSU. I hate to have to buy him dinner. Boy. too far under the basket. And Bryant will slap the ball under the LSU basket, trying to inbounds, and he does. Lamont rolling three from the far side, and they got it. Lamont rolling. So we have deuce. John uh, Brady thought it was a three, but they give him a deuce, and LSU is up by five, 39 to 34. They get the first four to start the second half. Here's Chambers near side, and they back out at long range, guarded man to man by Bryant. Now he gives up the dribble bounce pass, is knocked out of bounds by hustling Lamont rolling as he was bounced in the direction of Harris. And Alcorn State will bring it in front court near side. And if he hustled a little bit more, he would have been in my lap. Right in your lap. Slap of all, you can hear it by Harris, who's right in front of us. And the inbounds in the near corner of Chambers. Guarded by Bashira, who's working with three fouls. Still dribbling the ball, now bounces it up top to number 55. That's Harper, guarded by Jabari Smith. He hands it away to Chambers. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Chambers at long range, dribbling near side. Feeds away Cameron, drives around Bashira. Stops and shoots a jumper and nailed it. Oh, that was a great yes. shot. Sheriff's Cameron with two seconds on the shot clock. 39-36, LSU Smith inbounds to Lamont Rowland, and he starts it down the floor on the dribble. Rowland himself will get it into the front court for LSU. Dribbling at long range. 
Lynch comes to the near side. Needs it back up top to Jabari Smith across the way. Bashera looks down low. Can't get it in to Smith up to Roland, top of the key. Dribbles near side, goes all the way under the basket, and loses the ball out of bounds. But I believe it's going to be touched last by Chambers. And so LSU will bring it in under their own basket. 39-36, the Tigers by three were just underway second half. There's the inbound to Barry Smith. Bounces it out to roll in long range. In front of the LSU bench. Waves the ball around. Out backs out of long range. Over to Deshera. And Deshera will shoot it with one second left. It's off for him a good tip back up. Got it! Jabari Smith! Smith! He's back at 11. And LSU leads by five, 41-36. Fleming back out of long range to Chambers. Far side pass to Harris of all court State. Tigers are man to man. Now Chambers back in the midcourt circle. Far side passes to Cameron. Guarded by Bashir in front of the bench. Far side dribbles towards the top of the key. Now feeds away Chambers. Picked up by Torres Bryant. Lots of down low Fleming working on Scroll Miles Swift. Is at the baseline and can't shoot. Ten seconds to shoot. Lots of back out of long range to Chambers. Back down to Fleming working on Scroll Mile and he traveled. Good defensive yes. effort that time by Scroll Miles Swift. Fleming couldn't do anything with it, and he turned it over. That's their 10th turnover of the ball game. We'll see if LSU can take advantage. Tigers by five, 41-36, and all court will press man-to-man, -man, full court. Smith, long pass down the floor to Lamont Rowland, and he has a block, an outstanding block by Harris under the basket. Rowland was going to the sack, and Harris reached out with a hand and knocked it away. That was a great job. LSU will bring it in under their basket to our right. We'll slap the ball by Bryant, inbounds to Smith, far court. Back in long range, rolling around the perimeter near side, Bryant. Baseline near side to Jabari with his back to the goal. Now he waits until they come up and double team. He needs to do something to share it. From the top for three, off the back guy long, and a foul is called, I believe, on all court state. I think they have Harper. Let's see, Brooke. Bruce oh. Benedict will say 55. It is hard. And it's, it's, it's his fourth, I think. It's his fourth team quickly to be replaced by the big guy. Just a couple pounds of the next team. Slaughter. Slaughter. All 350 pounds. It's a good game. It comes in. Well, LSU on the bounds underneath their face. Slaughter. Taking a look. Inbounds out to Roland. He's open for three and unloads and doesn't get it. Rebound tipped out. Comes back out to Bashera. Goes out of bounds. Good hustle by LSU there. The shots aren't falling, but the Tigers nail. In this half, Jim, they look like they're coming up with the loose balls that they weren't getting in the first half. They do look a little bit more aggressive here in the second half. Right again to work it in into the Tiger basket. And he's looking. He's still looking. And he lobs it in at long range. That's it towards the Lamont Roland. Dribbles towards the near side. Into the near corner to Bashera. Bashera takes a look. Gills has some instructions. Puts the ball on the floor. Dribbles inside the paint. Wants to shoot. Puts it up. It is good. And it's The replay of this one, Bashera was facing the other basket when that shot went up. He was a little bit out of control, but drew the foul, and the iron is gone. And Ryan Bashera with a chance at a three-point play, and he was looking at the other goal when he threw that one up. And I believe that the foul is whistled on Fleming. It'll be his second. Bashera's free throw is good. And so a three-point play by Bashera propels LSU out to its biggest lead, 8-44-36. Into the front court, Fleming up top to Slaughter. Near side pass, Cameron working on Bashir on the stutter dribble. He has trouble with it. Now he comes back out in front of the lane, gives it away to Harris near side. In the near corner, Bashir is staring him down. Still dribbling the ball, feeds it away to Chambers with 16 seconds to shoot. Chambers working on Torres Bryant. Far side pass to Cameron down to Fleming, working on Jamari. Fleming wants to shoot, goes inside the for a shot that is blocked by Swift, and he gets it back. Now he fires from the far corner off the iron, no good. Rebound to Lamont Rowland. Good job by the top. I think Torres Bryant hustles it. And he up, sweet! The score Swift! A beauty! And LSU has its first double-digit lead. 46 to 86.
Yes, and LSU does hurry up. No, Alcorn has scored only two points in the second half this run. There's the pass to Smart. Back up top to Harris. Alley is down low to foot. He can't shoot it. Working on Jabari and a foul is going to be called. Reach in a hand check uh, on Jabari, I believe. Pass with 43. Jabari trying to inbounds. Long pass down the floor to Torres Bright. Too far out of bounds. And Jabari threw it away. Tried to throw it the length of the floor, and that's a Tiger turnover. That's a difficult thing to do. Now Alcorn will inbounds. Harris gets it back to Chandler. Tigers don't seem to be able to enjoy prosperity. Get no. up a little bit, then something happens, and Alcorn State closes the gap. There's, There's your fourth a foul. foul. Call on the share in the back room. That is his fourth. He will have to head to the bench. And Charmaine Williams will take his place. It, it, you know, Bashara, Jim, when he gets in foul trouble sometimes, he just needs to realize when he has three personal fouls, you don't reach behind the guy because yeah. you're going to get called for a foul every time. And, you know, he's a valuable member of this team and needs to be more in control when he picks up three fouls. Harris looking inbounds under the basket to our left, and he does in the far side. This is Fleming in from the on-court bench on the dribble, working on Jabari Smith. Now he brings it back out. Still dribbling over there, feeds it away to Harris at long range. Picked up by Bright. He dribbles uh, towards the top of the key, now back out, now towards the near side, gets a pick, loses Bright, and is cut off by Lamont Rowland. Back out at long range to Chambers, into the corner to Harris. Working on Rowland with 14 to shoot, tries a tray. Off the back iron, no good, rebound is knocked loose, and Slaughter's coming right at us, and we're getting out of the way. And he saves it, on the, well, he doesn't save it, it's an over and back. That was history, buddy. Oh, I was out of here. <laughs> 350 pounds coming at you as hard as it can run. Earth is still shaking. Now, LSU will bring it in bounds at midcourt. <sighs> Jermaine Williams. I've seen my childhood right before my very eyes. <laughs> Jermaine Williams at midcourt will bring it in. Alcorn's talking a little bit. Guy talking to Chambers is talking to Taurus Bright. You can hear uh, Jermaine calling for a play and he inbounds to Taurus Bright in the backcourt. Chambers is right there with him. In the front court, bounces it over to Jermaine Williams in front of the Tiger bench, far side. Up top to Stromile Swift, who hits for the hole, goes up and is fouled, and will go to the free throw line. Boy, that was a good power move by Stromile Swift. He was hit home and fouled by Fleming, who picks up his third. Stromile with 10 at the free throw line for the first time tonight. 
LSU by eight, 46-38, with 14.58 to play in the ball game. The Tigers led by one at the half. Trying to go 6-0 for the first time since the 92-93 season. Two shots. Stroh hitting 77% of his free throws as a team. LSU 6 of 11 tonight for a 55%. Swift taking some time. Now he fires it up, and he missed it. And it's just been a struggling night at the line for a team shooting over 70%. Chambers is replaced by J.T. West, freshman from Natchez in the ball game for the first time. And, and this the is the second shot to come. And in this close game, this is the game LSU needs to shoot that 73% from the free throw line. Shot is up. That one is off the mark. You could tell that. And Lamont Rowland slaps it out of bounds. And Romile Swift goes over two at the line tonight. The Tigers are leaving a lot of points on the table. And there's the inbounds, and West will have it in the backcourt. And he hits it into the front court, gets around Torres Bright Angles far side. 46-38 LSU, but the Tigers have all of a sudden cooled off again. Here is Cameron. And the park corner gives it away to Fleming, working on uh, Jabari. Can't penetrate. Dribbles it back out and lobs it down low. Baseline Cameron is double team. Turns and shoots, and it is off the back iron. Rebound to Stroh Miles Swift. Swift dribbles it in the front court himself, pulls up and pees it to Roland near side. Back out to Bright. Angles it towards the near side, up top to uh, Jabari Smith. Smith far side to Jermaine Williams. Williams taking a look. Dribbles towards the top of the key, coming to the near side. Now to Strohmile. Waves it around. And there's going to be a foul called away from the ball. A foul's going to be called on Jabari Smith. And what happened? what's happening out there right now, Jim, is Alcorn State is talking a lot to LSU. And the Tigers are listening to it right now. And Jabari Smith, frustrated with all the talking, commits the personal foul on the turnover for LSU. That's they just don't second. need to listen to that. That is his second. Play the game. 48-30, 30 46-38, LSU. West gives it away to Fleming behind the three-point line. Working on Stromile Swift. And a hand check is called on Swift. That's his first. At the 14-01 mark, Alcorn State is a taking the momentum away from LSU for a little while, at least here in the second half. Snap of the ball, and West inbounds far side to Cameron in front of the Alcorn bench. The Braves have only scored four points in the second half, but LSU was shut down also all of a sudden. Here's a steal by Lamont Rowland. He heads for coast to coast. The layup is no good, but he draws the foul. Man, oh man, LSU needs to finish those things out. Foul is on West. But Rowland, instead of going for a three-point play, will go to the line to shoot two. Lamont well, is, oh, has not attempted a free throw tonight. He is a 57% free throw shooter. The Tigers have missed their last two and are now six of 13 from the free throw line. And yeah, you have to finish those plays. That was not a very hard foul at all. No, looked like he had an easy layup and he just rolled it off the front rim. He makes the free throw. He has five points in the ball game. And it's 47 to 38, LSU by nine. Their biggest lead, 10. And the second shot now to come from Lamont Rowland. A little shuffling around uh, at the free throw line is uh, what's holding us up a little bit. Now we're set to go. Roland has handed the basketball, and his shot is in the air, and he missed it off the front rim. Rebound, Stromile Swift goes for the hole, puts it up and in. Swift on the putback. LSU has its biggest lead, 11, 49-38, and they're pressing. West in deep trouble, loses it out of bounds. But he will bring it in, and LSU had him covered in the deep far corner in the back corner. And he'll try to work it in again. Harris this time inbounds to West. He is uh, now double teamed and loses the ball when it's slapped out of bounds by Jermaine Williams. But the Tigers getting after it, and Alcorn State's third attempt to get it into the front court. He actually got away with a double dribble there before Jermaine yeah. Williams uh, knocked the ball away. Now Cameron inbounds to Harris. And he'll start it down the floor with Black. And five did, second call. Yeah, five has to be. I would think. Or 10 seconds. 10 seconds, no. They, ten, they didn't get it. Well, actually, no, a, actually, That's what they John should. John Brady was asking. And now he's saying, I know that. <laughs> no, they're, John I mean, says, hey, I know it. I was just wondering, yeah, you know, what's going on. Yeah, actually, they have 10 seconds. They didn't reset the clock, and that's yeah. what they should have done. Reset the clock. Yeah. It, it's at, uh, they had 10 seconds from the inbounds to get it. <laughs> the official just fell for yeah, that he one. Sure did. <laughs> now into the front court here is Fleming working on Jabari Smith, and the shot clock does show 12 to a slaughter. And long range, the big guy dribbles one time. 
picked up by Stromile Swift, needs some help, gives it away to West at long range, three on the shot clock. Fleming open, far corner, high in the air. It's uh, no good, and it goes to LSU because it didn't get there. It was an air ball. So here's the deal. You, you got 10 seconds from the time you inbound the ball if it's knocked right. out of bounds, but the, they had used up like 18 seconds trying to get it in the front court. <laughs> and the officials. And John said something, and the officials thought about it. Yeah, Bruce Benedict fell hook, line, and sinker. Now the Tigers will work it down the floor. Full court pressure. Jabari Smith deep in the backcourt. Working it up for the dribble, and the slaughter is going to make him dribble into the front court, and he does. And he blows around him. Now he gives up the dribble and threw it into the backcourt. That's an over and back, and that was a very bad move by Jabari Smith, who just simply threw it past Torres Bright into the backcourt and turned it over. Big guy trying to do too much there. He should not have dribbled the ball as much as he did. Alcorn State will get it at midcourt. That's 11 turnovers now in the ball game for LSU. Harris inbounds to Slaughter, gives it to West. West behind the line, near side, picked up by Bright. Now to Harris, holds it up high, back to West. 12.45 to play in the game. Behind the line, Fleming here, holds it high above his head, gets a pick, dribbles and feeds the way far side to Harris, and timeout is called by Alcorn State. That'll be a 30-second timeout. 12.38 to play in the game, 49-38, the Tigers by 11. LSU will play next on uh, Tuesday night. Don't forget Monday night, we've got the radio show, John Brady's show from 7 until 8, Sue Gunner's radio show from 8 until 9, then the Tigers play Tuesday night, and the Lady Tigers on Wednesday next week. And Tell America's new Lucky 7 plan breaks the five cent barrier now for weekend calls. Pay just 4.7 cents per minute in state or out of state and no monthly fee. You can call Tell America at 1-877-7-Lucky-7. Call today. Sue Gunner's Lady Tigers, another impressive win on national television this afternoon from this arena, 67 to 56 over Michigan. Yeah, Katrina Hibbert had a great game, 14 points, 10 assists, and six steals. All right, there's the inbounds. All Cornstein has it in the front court with 18 seconds to shoot. Harris feeds the way far side to Fleming, and he threw it away. Tried to hit somebody cutting to the basket and turned it over. That'll be their 14th turnover of the ball game. Let's see if LSU can take advantage now of some of these Alcorn mistakes. Their shooting is down now to 38%. Jabari Smith will try to inbounds. He'll be fronted by Slaughter. Alcorn man-to-man -man full court pressure. Well, actually, we're going to have a substitution. Brian Adams will come into the ball game, replacing Fleming. Fleming. And we have 12.30 to go in the game. Jabari is given the ball. He's taking a look, taking a look. And he inbounds to Swift, who comes back to get it over to Lamont Rowland. And Rowland dribbles it into the front court. Far side in front of the LSU bench, up top to Jabari, down low to Stromile, knocked loose and stolen away. Tigers turn it over again. Out to, to West, into the front court. That has not been a big problem for LSU this year. Turnover. Adams down low to Slaughter in the lane, and he turns it right back over to LSU. And Jermaine Williams heads it down the floor, feeds it near side to Lamont Rowland, drives underneath the sack, has it blocked out of bounds by Slaughter. And the Tigers will bring it in. Horace Bright will work it in up underneath the LSU basket with 12 minutes to play in the game. The Tigers up by 11. Slap of the ball, the inbounds roll on your side and a foul away from the ball. Foul is called on number five. On Slaughter, actually, I think. Is it? Yes, yeah, Slaughter was holding Jabari Smith. And I thought he was saying five. And he was, 5-0. So that is Slaughter's. And you know, they've, Third been, foul. they've been doing that all night. The officials have let them play very aggressively defensively. And that's why they've had some success of keeping the ball away from Stroh and J Jabari. Collis Temple in the game replacing Lamont Rowland now. Torres Bright to try to inbounds under the Tiger basket. There's the slap of the ball. And he's looking. Still looking. Still looking. Didn't make it. Turned it right back. And we should be having an official timeout right now. It's a 12-minute exactly mark. Exactly 12 minutes, but they're not calling it. There's the inbounds. Tigers missed a big chance there. Came in back into the ball game. Feeds the way far side to Harris, round the perimeter. This is Adams at long range, back up top to Slaughter, the big guy. He feeds it away to, and a bounce pass underneath the basket is knocked out of bounds by Swift on the pass from Cannon, and that will be an official timeout. 11.46 to play in the half, not much going on right now. LSU leads all court, 49 to 38 on the LSU Sports Network. Rusted phones? Let me guess, you called your long distance carrier and they told you it was a local problem. Then the local guy said it was a phone systems error. Hey, how'd you know? We've heard it all before. We're ITC Delta Company. They love to do that. Typical telecom finger pointing runaround. 
tell me about it. Sounds like you need some accountability. ITC Deltacom is a single point of contact for all your data, internet, phone systems, local and long distance. Hey, that's our job. Great. When can you start? Hi, Tiger fans. Jim Hawthorne here with an important message from the team over at Bell South Mobility. If you're looking for a great deal on cellular service and Nokia mobile phones, then stop by your local Bell South Mobility store. You'll still get the same quality you know, but at low prices you wouldn't expect. Remember to check out the Nokia phones and accessories, which are proudly featured at the Bell South Mobility Store. For more information, call 1-800-986-BELL. Bell South Mobility. Last nice call in, Tiger fans. Fly away. 11.46 remaining in the ballgame. LSU still winning this ballgame by 11 points. 49 to 38 is our score here in the Maribich Assembly Center. When the Tigers score big, you score big when you open a new Bank One CD next week. Bank One will add extra points to the CD interest rate based on how many points the LSU Tigers score. LSU 20 to 42 in the game for 48%. While Alcorn is 14 of 37 to 38%. LSU 2 of 9 from three point territory. Alcorn 2 of 7. Alcorn 8 of 8 from the free throw line. LSU 2 of 7 of 15. The Tigers out rebounding the Braves 28 to 20. Turnovers are major cut factor in this game. LSU with 14 and Alcorn with 15. The Tigers have missed some opportunities, Jim, to open this thing up a little bit more. And uh, Alcorn State Kev has only scored four points in yeah. the second half. And the Tigers missed. have not been able to blow it off. And they're going to score here pretty soon. And here is Cameron trying to work it in. He does get it down to Slaughter. The front corner. Front of that and nice whip. And he feeds it back out. Now here is the pass to Adams. He will fire up an 18-foot jumper. Bounces off the top rim. And the rebound is pulled down by Slaughter. He lost it, got it back. And it goes out of bounds with 33 seconds on the reset shot clock under the basket to Alcorn State. Harris to inbound. Slap of the ball. Does in the far corner. This is uh, Adams. Adams gives up the dribble, feeds it down low, working for a shot is Fleming. He fires it up, bounces, bounces, won't go. Rebound comes back out to Alcorn State. Back across the way, this is Harris. Into the near corner, Adams for three over Jermaine Williams. Barry. Well, you piddle around long enough, and they're going to score. And it's 49 to 41. Jabari Smith inbounds to Williams, and Alcorn State seems to have new life. I wish you gave it to him. Yep, Tigers trying to get the ball into the front court, and haven't yet. Horace Bryant dribbles it into the front court, into a double-team trap, flips it away to Collis Temple, time of the key. Collis dribbles and loses the ball, but the reason he loses it is he is fouled by number 23, Adams, his second. I say Collis was in the act of shooting, so he will go to the free throw line. Temple has uh, not scored in the ball game at the line. Let's see, that is uh, 16 fouls in the second half for the Braves. Temple to shoot two. Thomas is an 83% free throw shooter, averaging 12.2 minutes a game. Well, you talked him out of that one, too. <laughs> he missed it. And LSU having an atrocious night at the free throw line. Well, they're 7 of 16 now, and they haven't needed much help from me. Here's the second shot by Temple. He got that one, and the LSU lead is 9, 50 to 41. All right, into the front court quickly. There's a pass far side to Fleming, driving on Jabari Smith under the basket. Easy layup. He missed it. And the rebound goes to Stroh Miles Swift. He went around Jabari, missed the layup, and Stroh got it to Taurus Bright. Bright hits to the hole, kicks it into the far corner to Collis Temple, who drives and lays it up, an air ball. Tipped out, though, to Taurus Bright, and Bright will go back, and he has it just easily picked away from him by Adams, who drives and lays it in. Adams picked Taurus Bright clean. And it is 50 to 43, a seven point lead. To Collis Temple into the front court. Temple having trouble on the dribble, has a double team and gets it out to Bright. 10 17 to play in the game. Bright in front of the LSU bench, far side. On the stutter dribble, up top to Stroh Miles Swift. Holds it up high, near side pass to Temple, down low to Jabari Smith. He is uh, pressured by Slaughter and lost it out of bounds, but off of the foot of Slaughter, and LSU will bring it in up underneath their own mask. And in the game for. Uh, Alcorn State, Corey Mangum is about to check in, and he will replace Harris. And 17 seconds on the shot clock, and the Tigers uh, had a lot of momentum to start the second half, but that is Wien now. They, they lead it by seven. 50 to 43, Bryant bounces inbounds to Temple. Down low to Jabari Smith, he's double team. Working on Slaughter, not, not much there. Feeds underneath to Strohmeyer, who slams it in, and he's down! Very nice speed by the Big Bird. As he saw Swift work his way free underneath the basket, he got the flush. 14 points in the ball game for Strohmeyer. Let's see if he can make a free throw. He's over two on the line. Who was the foul on? 
think it was on Slaughter. One of those difficult things with the new scoreboard, they just simply do not tell you who the foul was on. If it was on Slaughter, no, it wasn't. It was on Fleming. That is his fourth. Swift at the line, 0 for 2 tonight, trying to complete the three-point play. And the big guy from Shreveport fires it up, and that one is no good either. He's 0 for 3. The rebound goes to Slaughter. And the Tigers continue a dismal night at the line. 52-43, the LSU lead is 9. Here is Cameron, far side on the dribble. Gives it away to Mangum around the perimeter near side. Adams behind the line, guarded by Jermaine Williams. Up top to Slaughter. Slaughter with Swift on him, and a hand check foul is called on Strohmile Swift. It was a good call. He hustled out, banged into the big guy, and uh, they're not going to let you get away with that this year. And that's the fifth LSU team foul. 9.37 to play in the ball game. Mangum to inbounds, front court near side. Does in the near corner to Adams, guarded by Jermaine Williams. Adams dribbling at long range, now feeds it away to uh, West or Cameron, who comes to get it back to Adams. Now low to Cameron, working on Jabari to Slaughter. Slaughter fires up the jump shot and buried it. Slaughter knocks down the deuce, and it's 52-45. The LSU lead is seven, with 9.16 to play in the game. Kyle is Temple at the point. Into the front court, dribbling to the near side, feeds it back up top to Jabari. Smith is fouled by Slaughter in long range. Slaughter's fourth. And that is uh, eight. And so Jabari goes to the line for one in the bonus, I believe. Yes, one and one. Yeah. Jabari missed his first three and has made his last three, so he's three of six and has 11 points in the ballgame, only two in the second half. 9 07 to play, 52 45, LSU by seven. And that shot is an air ball. That didn't touch anything. My, oh my. And so, if Alcorn State, State will bring it in. They have got LSU really reeling right here. LSU yeah. is up. If they win this ball game, it'll because LSU cannot make free throws. Simple as that. All right, here's Mangum into the front court. Picked up by Taurus Bryant. Near side passes to Adams. Adams waves it around, guarded by Williams. Up top, around the perimeter, far side. Mangum fakes right into the air, fires up the shot, no good. Rebound is fought for underneath, pulled down, put back in. Adams blocked by Jabari Smith, and Temple has got it for LSU. The big bird blocked it. Here is Bryant into the front court to Collis. Dribbles all the way to the hole, lays it in, and he's fouled. Nice move by Collis Temple. Left-handed layup coming in the back door, far side. And he got the basket, and he was fouled. Nice minutes for Collis Temple off the bench tonight. Collis going aggressively to the basket with the left hand. Brian Bashara will check back into the ball game for LSU and give Strohmile a break. The foul was on number 23, Adams, his third. And Collis is at the line. He is one for two and a chance to complete the three-point play. And he does, and LSU's lead is 10 again, 55 to 45. And Alcorn will send Chambers and Harris back in. And uh, Mangum and uh, Cannon go out of there. And it'll be Harris to work the ball down the floor. Now he gives it away to Chambers, and Chambers picked up in midcourt by Bryant. Moving from right to left with 8.30 to play in the ball game. Here's Cameron working on Bashera, who has four fouls. Harris at the top of the key, guarded by Collins, stops and shoots it over uh, Collis, and he knocked it down. That's a mismatch there. Harris with the jump shot. Down the floor, driving for the layup, Jermaine Williams, as the Tigers got the pass down the floor quickly. And Jermaine laid it in. He's got eight. It's 57-47, LSU by 10 at the eight-minute mark. Chambers, far side. Steal by Bright. He tried to bounce it down low, and Bright took it away. Into the front court to Williams, far side in front of the LSU bench. Jermaine gives up the dribble, needs help. To Jabari, top of the key. To Bashera, and they're going to... Call a foul and a hole is going to be called. Cameron uh, had 33. It. Cameron, and that's his second. And Bashera will go to the line. That is 10. He'll shoot two. It'll be two the rest of the way. And if the Tigers can shoot and make their free throws, he'll be okay. Bashera, two of three. Five, seven points in the ballgame. With that hold, it should be 10 yards also from the spot of the foul. <laughs> yeah. Those were tearaway jerseys. Bashara would be playing in skins. There's his first one, and it's in. Bashara averaging 12.8. Has eight in the ballgame. 
And it's 58 to 47. That matches LSU's biggest lead, 11. Give credit to Alcorn in this game. They've come to play. Knock that one down, and we have an official timeout. Time out of the ball game with 7:51 to go. LSU by a dozen, 59-47 on the LSU Sports Network. One of the most amazing things about the internet is the way you can get answers to almost any question faster than you ever dreamed. What are the rules for cricket? Who invented crossword puzzles? What's the average annual rainfall in Belize? But while all that's interesting, sometimes you need an answer to a more practical question. Like, do I qualify for a home equity loan? Search no further than Bank One's website. Apply for a home equity loan online and we'll give you an answer in less than a minute. Then you could have money to pay off bills, fix up your home, or pay for college. It's the same convenience you already get with Bank One Loan by Phone, where you get an answer before you hang up. What's more, home equity can be one of the least expensive ways to borrow. Best of all, you get an answer so quickly, you'll have plenty of time to find the answers to other important questions, such as, what's on TV in Australia tonight? For fast answers you can use, visit www.bankone.com or call Loan by Phone at 1-800-800-LOAN. Bank One, equal housing opportunity number, subject to credit approval. 7.51 remaining in the ball game here in the Maravich Assembly Center, and LSU up by a dozen over Alcorn State, 59 to 47, our score. Bell South Mobility offers you great cellular service, including free long distance to anywhere in Louisiana, and you can use your package minutes anywhere in Louisiana on the Bell South Mobility Network. Call 1-800-986-BELL. Certain restrictions apply. LSU now shooting. 50% in this ballgame, 23 of 46 from the floor for 50%. The Tigers are shooting 60% here in the second half. Alcorn is 18 of 45 in the game for 40%. LSU 2 of 9 from three point land. Alcorn 3 of 8 from the free throw line. LSU 11 of 22, and Alcorn is 8 for 8. LSU out rebounding Alcorn 31 to 25. But Jim, LSU is left 11 points at the free throw line in this one tonight. Alcorn State will advance to our right, and the Tigers will press him full court. Temple will front Harris, who tries to work it in. And he bounces it in to Adams, who quickly is picked up in the backcourt by Williams. Coming to get it as Chambers, and Bryant will pick him up and dog him into the front court. Angles towards the far side, does the Chambers, now reverses and comes back to the near side. Bounces it to Harris. Harris around College Temple, throws it up no good. Rebound is fought far, and Brian Bechera has it for LSU. Good job by Bechera to go up and pull it down. Horace Bryant with the ball now, slows it down and walks it into the front court. Picked up at midcourt by Chambers. Bryant starts to the near side, reverses, and feeds it to uh, Collis Temple. Temple up top to Jabari, can't get it down to uh, Bashera. Over to Jermaine Williams. Williams dribbles to the free throw line, kicks it back out to Collis Temple. Drives baseline, shoots it from eight feet, bounces, bounces, won't go, rebound to Jabari. Smith goes up and misses it. Tip up, no good. Pulled down by Adams as Jabari missed underneath. Into the front court, Harris far side for the Braves. On the dribble, gives it back out to Harris. And Harris in front of the Alcorn bench to Chambers, round the perimeter to Harris back near side. Here is Cameron, can't shoot up with it does, and it is no good, but kicked in on the far side by Adams. Adams tipped it in, 59 to 49, LSU by 10. 6.38 to play in the game. Jabari deep in the backcourt, and Alcorn State pressing. Jabari's trying to dribble, and does. The big guy gets it into the front court. Kicks it out near side to Bryant. In the near corner, he holds it up high. Down low to Jabari, and he bounced it out of bounds and turned it over. He was under the basket and put it on the floor and dribbled it on the baseline. Stroh Miles Swift will go in and replace uh, Jabari. Well, Torres Bright had Jabari Smith wide open. He got the ball to him a little bit too late and then stepped on the baseline. But here again, LSU gets the 12-point lead, a chance to make it more, and yep. the Tigers turn it over a couple of times, miss a couple easy shots. Chambers into the front court, far side to Adams, guarded by Jermaine Williams. Dribbles to the free throw line, fakes Williams, can't shoot it. Out to Chambers, near side, with Bright on him. One dribble up top to uh, the big guy, Harper. Far side passes to Adams. Gives up the dribble and feeds it to Harris. Working on Collis Temple. Fires up the jump shot. Off the iron, no good. Rebound pulled down by Jermaine Williams. And Alcorn State a little bit cold now, but LSU not being able to increase the lead. Right in the front court. To Bashera, top of the key. Near side to Williams. Down to Stromile. Goes for the sack, puts it in, and he's fouled. You can hear that slap all the way over here. Swift power to the hole. Drew the foul, and the foul is on number 55, Harper, and I think he gets fouled out of the ballgame. He's gone. Harper leaves, didn't score a point. 
and you get the ball to show Miles Swift down low in the box like that, and that's exactly what's going to happen. You're either going to have a chance for a three-point play or he's going to get fouled and go to the free throw line. 16 points in the ball game for the big guy who averages 21-2, but he's 0 for 3 at the free, at the free throw line. And Slaughter uh, will check into the game. For Alcorn. And who plays Harper. Harper, a 6'8 sophomore from Jackson. You can hear the student body getting on to Harper as he goes to the middle. A lot of students here tonight. Surprise since uh, John Swan was the semester is over. But they are here and they're having fun. Swift at the line. Wants to make this free throw. He's 0 for 3 on the night. Good concentration. He got it. Nothing but net. LSU has its biggest lead, 13, 62, 49, 542 to go in the game. Chambers walks it into the front court. Far side passes to Adams in front of the all-court bench across the way. Bibbling on Williams, heads to the hole and goes and is, it is uh, rejected out of Adams, but Lowell can be called on Stroma. In the basket to Adams, and it's 62, 51, LSU by 11. Well, that one left, uh, left the building. And Swift hit that one forcibly into the stand, but it was a goal tip. Now here's the inbounds pass to Swift, looking for some help. Feeds it back to Collins Temple. 5.26 left to play in the game. Temple gets it into the front court for LSU. He's double teamed. Feeds it across the way, Jermaine Williams. To the sheriff. The sheriff flies baseline, goes up, has it taken away. Five defensive play. Harris back into the front court for Alcorn State. In front of the Brave bench, back your side. Wide open is Adams for three, and he buried it. Nobody near him. That's five straight unanswered for Alcorn, and they're right back in it. It's 62 to 54 at the five minute mark. Chambers fouls Taurus Bright. Taurus Bright looks like he hurt himself a little well, bit. Well, he tried to dribble through a double team. Fouls called on the It's his third, and Taurus will go to the free throw line. Yeah, he's holding his right knee. He's got a, a little support uh, band underneath his right knee, anyhow. And Lamont Rowland is going to check in. And uh, Bruce Benedict is. Needs to realize that he's injured right now, and I think he just now came to that realization. Doing a little knee bend there. Now this, now this guy, if you could, if we can talk him out of the free throw, he's done something. Because Taurus Bryant is, is a pretty good free throw shooter. One for two tonight. Six points in the ball game. He's going to be replaced by Lamont Rowland. There's his first one. And he misses it off the back rim. Oh, he did it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, mean, I, I guess we careful. just need to quit talking about free throws and let them do their work. Well, actually, uh, Roland replaced Temple. And uh, Bright's going to stay in the game as he bends down again. I think they bumped the knees. The, I yeah. think is what happened. This is the second free throw. He missed that. The rebound goes to Alcorn State. And the Tigers are just horrible at the line. But Harris, free throw line jump shot is up. Too strong. Got his own rebound. Puts it back up and in. And all Corn State is breathing down LSU's neck again. They have cut the lead to just six as LSU cannot take a free throw. Cards Bryant to Bouchera in the front court. Lamont Rowland dribbles top of the key. 4.30 still to go on this one. And all Corn State is on the run. Bryant near side. Reverses it back up top to Bouchera. Down down low to Snowbound. Triple team stolen away. Turn over again for LSU. Here is Cameron and he loses it out of bounds and so the Tigers will get it back. And what you hear in the background is some of the Alcorn State fans are being ejected from the arena right now and this is not a very pretty sight on the other side. And I think they're going to have a stoppage in play as LSU calls a 30 second timeout. Yeah, there's uh, some guy over there who's uh, I'm not sure why he was, uh, being uh, he's been over there and they've been cutting up and hollering all game and Probably some profanities took place, and they just need to get a wife. Well, they're out of here, and there is a timeout with 418 to play. John Brady caught it. LSU again. They're, they're just uh, not able to deal with prosperity. Yeah, this was Every time LSU gets a, a healthy lead in this ball game, uh, they just seem to be somebody turns off the switch. Jim, it was a 62 49 ball game after Phil Miles Swift's three point play with 544 remaining, and, and since then it's been all out for him as they are on a 7-0 run, and believe me, folks, this is anybody's ball game right now. No question about it, LSU continues to lead points at the free throw line. Well, had they made their free throws at a 
percentage that they have shot all year long, they would still be comfortably ahead in this game. As it is, they are ahead by only six. Full court pressure. Williams inbounds to Stromile Swift. And Stromile dribbles it into the front court himself into a double team near side. Goes all the way to the hole, and a foul will be called. I believe either on Slaughter or uh, Adams. Let's see who they get. Slaughter, the big dog, he's fouled out. That's five on him, I believe. It is. He is the second to raise the foul out. He fouls out with two points. Well, if I'm Alcorn, I continue to foul LSU. Yeah, why not? They, they certainly have not shown 12 of 25 from the free throw line. Swift is uh, one of four. And as a slaughter is out there, Cameron is in replacing him. Swift will shoot two, the tie is in it. Stromile, 18 points now in the ball game for LSU. He's been solid tonight. 8 of 12 from the floor, so he's going to continue to shoot around 73, 74%. 2 of 5 at the free throw line, 63 to 56. LSU by 7 at 4 11 to play in the game. Also has a double double now. He has 10 rebounds. Second free throw is in. He got a vote. 54 56. LSU by 8. You can stop here, Jim. Coming up on the four-minute mark. Chambers into the front court, guarded by Bright. Your side passes to Adams with Bruchera on him, working on four fouls. Gets a pick at the top of the key, but he can't shoot it. Our side passes to Chambers. Now down to Cameron, batted away by Swift, but Cameron chases it back down. Dribbling in front of the Alcorn bench, a long-range far side, and the shot clock's down to 11. Top of the key pass, near side to Chambers, it's nine. Up top, Fleming, can't shoot it. Jabari cuts him off, drives inside the lane, puts it up, no good. Out of bounds, off of the fingers of Bashara, who just did not hang on, and we've got an official touchdown. When we come back, there will be only three seconds on the shot clock for Alcorn City, but we have a timeout with 3.39 to go in the game, and it's LSU 64, Alcorn 56 on the LSU Sports Network. Throughout its 67-year history, the Southeastern Conference has been a leader in the integration of athletic competition and higher education. Last year, the SEC captured 10 national championships and three NCAA runner-up finishes, while sending 146 league teams to postseason competition. It was also a record year in the classroom, as more than 1,100 student-athletes were named to the SEC Academic Honor Roll. The SEC, where champions are made. Tiger fans, get ready for some show-stopping holiday hoops. Now you and your entire group can enjoy the excitement of LSU basketball with our new group ticket plan. Order 20 tickets or more for any Tiger basketball game between December the 14th and January 8th, and the cost is only $7 each. That's 30% off the regular price by purchasing the group ticket plan. Get your tickets today at the LSU Athletic Ticket Office or by calling 388-2184. Don't miss this great fast-paced holiday hoop treat. Hurry and get your tickets today. 339 remaining in the ball game. 64-56 LSU leads it. But Alcorn State will have possession of the basketball underneath their own basket with three seconds remaining on the shot clock. Don't let them get a cheap one here. LSU needs to play some good teams for three seconds, get the ball, and get this lead back up to double digits. Right will uh, front Chambers. He'll try to work it in. There's a slap of the ball. And he's looking inbounds out at long range. Adams about a 30 foot three off of the iron. No good. Rebound goes to Bashera of LSU. Over to Taurus Bright. That was just a prayer. He had to throw it up in a hurry. And Bright in the backcourt is uh, contact made, but no foul. And now Bright hustles around Chambers, and this time they get him. Got him on second ever. He found him harder than that in the backcourt. That'll be his third, and Taurus Bright has a chance to make a couple of free throws. He's one for three tonight. And has uh, eight points in the ball game. Averaged 33 points a ball game in his senior year last year in high school. Big free throws for LSU. And the first one is just rattled out of there. He's missed three in a row. I mean, that one's all the way in. Yep. And the Tiger coaching staff just buries their faces in their hands across the way. Yeah. Exactly what I just did. Second 14 free throw 27. by Ryan. Right, he missed it again. And Swift is whistled for a foul as he pushed off. Getting the rebound. So the Tigers continue to lead Oodles and Oodles oh, 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 at the free throw line. And John Brady just leans back in his chair and stares at the ceiling. 
And, and quite honestly, LSU missing now over half of their free throws. Lucky to be ahead in this ball game. Into the front court, Chambers gives it away into the deep far corner up underneath the basket. Wide open, Chambers got the ball, but he can't shoot. Gets it back out to Fleming. He can shoot it. Now back out at long range to Harris, working on Jermaine Williams. He will shoot it from 18 feet, and he buried it. And the Tigers have got to pick it up a notch. Their lead has shrunk to six. 64 58 with 257 to play in the game. Horace Bride deep in the backcourt. Gets it into the front court to Chambers. Guarded by Chambers. Goes to the far side on the dribble. Penetrates and loses the ball. Just simply ran off and left it. Down the floor. Harris ran off and left it, but he got it back. Shoots it and it's no good. Rebound backed into the air. Harris has got it for all corners day. Behind the three point line. Ball is kicked by Swift, and all corners day will bring it in. And the Braves are simply outplaying LSU right now. I mean, LSU just kind of looks in a daze. 2.36 to play in the ball game. They have a six-point lead, 64-58, but are not playing very well. Harris to inbounds in the front court with a fresh 35. There's the slap of the ball. Inbounds in the near corner to Adams. Down low to Chambers. Back to Adams. Tries the lane. Puts it up. Austin got it back. Puts it back up and missed it. And the rebound goes to Stromile Swift. Bounces it over to Taurus Bright. And Bright walks it towards the front court, guarded closely by Chambers. Into the front court on the dribble. He is double teamed, needs help, fires it away to Bashera. Bashera back out to Bright. Bright loses the ball and turns it over again. But Jermaine Williams comes back with it for LSU to Bashera. The Stromile Swift. 2.05 to play in the game, and Swift back out at long range to Jermaine Williams. Williams needs some help. Somebody got to come get it. Lobs it down low to Jabari with his back to the goal. Shot clock's at 19. Jabari goes up for the power shot, doesn't get it, but draws the foul. Big move to the basket, and I believe that he gets the foul on Fleming. That's it for Fleming. He becomes the third brave to foul out of the ballgame. Fleming started off like a house of fire and finishes with 10 points, none in the second half. But you have to make your free throws. Yep. LSU 14 of 29, and they make free throws at the end of this ball game. Jim, they're going to win it. Yeah. Here's Romero Smith in the game for the first time, a 6'5 junior from St. Louis, Missouri. Spromile at the line is a 3 of 7 tonight. The last time he was there, I mean, a Jabari, last time he was there, threw up an air ball. He'll shoot two here, and he missed it. John Brady went to his knees on that one. Just can't make the free throw. Smith is three of eight with 151 to go. In the game, LSU leads 64-58. Just a two-possession ball game right, right now. Need to make this free throw, at least make it three. Here's Jabari's free throw. He got that one. And it is 65 to 58. LSU by seven. 150 to go in the game. Quickly into the front court, Harris. In front of the bench, tries a three. It's in the air, off the iron. No good rebound. Bashera. Good job, Bashera. Bounces it back to Jermaine Williams. That was not a good shot for all State. 135 to go in the game. Right in the backcourt. Guarded closely by Chambers. Contact made, no foul. Gets around him, still more contact, no foul. Drives and puts it up, no good. Tip up, no good. And an over the back, called on Stromile Swift. I mean, that Tars, was, Tars Bright uh, did not use his head there. That was not very smart. That is the fourth foul on Swift. And uh, now then, and John Brady is uh, speaking uh, to Tars Bright about that. that. That was really not the thing to do. And now, Alcorn State has a chance to chip into the lead with no time ticking off the clock. Were there eight of eight on the free throw line? Yeah. At the line the he, uh, you know, he really did not need to score. Run some time off the clock. So Cameron, Cameron, Cameron is at the line. He is uh, 10 points in the game. It's not shot a free throw. Alcorn State has not missed. Four miles grip will lead the game. Already fouled out, that's why. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I, yeah, I didn't, I didn't uh, realize that that was his fifth, but he, he does foul out with 19 points. Well, that was even worse. Well, actually, they still have him with... Here's the shot by Cameron. And they are nine for nine. That one rattled and went in. No, they had him for five. That's it. He, he, he's out of here. And 
Second shot for Cameron will come. Takes his time, throws it up. That one is in. 10 of 10 at the line. Bechera inbounds to Roland, 65-60. LSU by only five with a minute 20 to go in the game. Bechera into the front court to Bright. Double team back out to Lamont Roland. I would foul, and I suspect they will pretty soon with LSU at the free throw line. They haven't been able to make the free throws. Jermaine Williams riddling the ball behind the line. Up top to Bechera, coming up on a minute and 15 seconds to shoot down to Jabari. He's under the basket and lays it in. Got it to the big bird, and he banked it in. And it's 67-60 LSU with 58 seconds to play in the game. Here is West in the front court, far side to Cameron, who wants to shoot but can't. Double team back out to uh, to Cameron at long range. 47 seconds to play. Cameron bounce pass over to Adams. A long three attempt. Barrett it. Adams knocked down the tray, and it is 64-63, 67-63. Only a four-point lead. Well, you're going to let that guy shoot that shot. Number one, you certainly don't want to get close enough to even be suspected of a foul. Yeah. And so if that one goes in, there's just not anything you can do about it, and it did. Tiger fans, if you love golf as much as you love LSU basketball, the University Club is the place for you. For more information, call 1-877-465-3002 today. 43.3 seconds remaining. LSU has the basketball with a four-point lead, and Alcorn will foul probably. They should foul immediately. Let's see what happens here. Kevin, you get the feeling here that LSU is, is playing desperately not to lose. Yeah, they and Rather than trying to take charge and win the game, they're just trying to hang on and not lose here. You know, it looked like LSU was going to kind of run away with this thing. The Tigers had a 13-point lead, 62 to 49, just at the 544 mark of this game, but uh, things have changed. And LSU has uh, Bright, Roland, Williams, Smith, and Bashera in the ballgame. LSU's best free throw shooter on the court right now is Jermaine Williams. And Bashera trying to work it in bounds. And he does to Torres Bright. Double team, Bright deep in the backcourt, in big trouble, gets it out to Bashera. 38 seconds to play into the front court to Roland. They'll try to foul him, he, and he does, they do foul him. He tried to get it over to Jermaine Williams in hopes that they would foul him, but instead they, they foul Roland. And I believe Smith, Romero Smith, is the one who uh, is whistled for the foul. And Lamont Roland just has to make a free throw. Yep. He is one of two at the line and five points in the ball game. He will shoot two. And there's the first one, and it's good. Oh, that is huge. And it's 68 to, to 63. Still just a two possession game. However, if he makes this one, it's uh, still a two-possession game, but two big possessions. LSU by five. Second shot is good. It is good, and John Brady takes the timeout with 33.3 seconds to play in the game, and LSU leading 69-63. to 63. It was 35-34 LSU by one, so the Tigers have had only 34 points in the second half. LSU, though, shooting 49% from the floor. The Tigers 25 of 51 in the ball game, while Alcorn is 24 of 59 for 41%. But as we said, the story of this ball game has been LSU 17 of 33 at the free, free throw line. Alcorn is 10 for 10. Well, let's see uh, what John Brady is uh, telling his team to do. Uh, LSU with three timeouts left, Jim Alcorn State with none. Obviously, uh, the Tigers. Uh, do not want to commit a foul here. Certainly not that they want to throw up a long range three. If, if they're going to throw one up from way out there, just let it go. If it goes in, it just does. They yeah. don't want the foul. You know, if Pressure LSU, the ball, make them use up some time to try to get it into the front court. If LSU does not turn the ball over here, and, and if Alcorn scores, if they hit free throws, they still win the ball game. All right. Harris will try to get it in bounds, and he does, and he gets it in quickly into the front court. Uh, Far side, uh, this is Cameron with the ball at the top of the key. Feeds it back out, 26 seconds to go. Adams near side to Cameron over to Cher. That will not work. Rebound goes to Jabari Smith. And Smith is fouled and will go to the line. And he could make it very difficult for Allgorn State now. Foul is uh, who that was called. 22 Harris, I believe. Was it? I thought it was Cable. Well, it could be. Cayman? Jeff Cayman? Cayman, yes. All right. 
That was on Cayman, his first. Barry at the line. Well, you want two here, but if you make one of two, you at least have it back to a three possession ball game with 19.6 seconds left, and that's extremely difficult. Four of nine at the line for Jabari, 14 points tonight. He'll shoot two. There's the first one, and it's just no good. Get the front rim and hell away. Well, I hope LSU is getting all of this out of their system here tonight. Yes. Just uh, an atrocious night at the free throw line. I've almost lost the rest of my hair here in the second half. Second free throw. Well, he missed that one too. The rebound goes to Alcorn State. They still have a shot. And here's a whistle. Don't tell me a foul. It was. Holy cow. A foul called on Taurus Bright. And John Brady is screaming at Taurus Bright and then a very good question. Why? 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 Why in the world would you foul him and put him at the line and give him a chance to cut into the lead? with no time out. It will be one and one. Unbelievable. Adams at the free throw. Well, that's just a freshman instead. Those are things that Torres Bryant will learn. Adams, first free throw is good. And Alcorn State is 11 of 11 at the free throw line. Boy, LSU is just desperately hanging on, trying to not lose this ball game. They're certainly not doing anything to try to win. Here's the second free throw. He missed it. Rebound goes out to Torres Bright. The first miss for Alcorn. To Jabari with 10 seconds left. And Jabari is fouled deep in the backcourt by Cameron, his third. Now Jabari can just about put it out of range again if he can make the two free throws. Yeah, if you make two here, it's over. It's it's a three possession game. Yeah, it's over. But you gotta make them. And he missed his last two. Smith is four of eleven at the free throw line. And the big guy will shoot two. There's one, and he got it. And this one goes down again. It's his 40. 9.9 seconds to play. And Romero Smith checks back in to replace Cameron. Mari's <laughs> shot is up. Got Count it. it. Nothing but net. And LSU will win the game. Eight seconds left. Into the front court. Parkside Adams for three. Air ball. Jabari's got it. He gives it away to Jermaine Williams. Less than a second to play. The game is over. And LSU has hung on to beat David Turner, the small court state team, on a score of 71 to 64. Tigers go to 6 0 for the first time since 1992 93. Back after this on the LSU Sports Center. Dixie Carter for the real yellow Understand my need. Basketball. They even help support our local team. And don't you forget to prepare for the next big game with the real Yellow Pages. It'll help you get tickets, select your seats, even get directions so you don't miss the game. Use the real Yellow Pages from Bell South. Access us online at www.yp.bellsouth.com. Hey, it's me, your alarm clock. You know, it's... Yeah, I know, the guy you hate. But lately, I gotta tell you, I've been feeling guilty. You know, for all the dreams that I've interrupted right at the crucial moment? So here's a tip. Right now at Burger King, you can get a croissant, which for just 99 cents, it's mouth-watering sausage, egg, and cheese on a croissant. So remember who told you about the croissant, which at Burger King, right now, just 99 cents. And when you hit the snooze button, it's this When you have it your way, it just tastes better. Limited time only, price and participation.